Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Podcast. And in this video demonstration, we are going to see how we can relocate uh, Active Directory database to a new location. So before we start, let's see why we want to relocate Active Directory database. First, when we install Active Directory, it gives an option to select the folder path to copy the Active Directory database file, and that is the NTDS folder. By default, the path will be NTDS. So it is on a C drive, Windows, and NTDS. So it is highly recommended to use a separate partition in a server to keep this instead of this uh, default location that is C, Windows, and NTDS folder path. See, I know most of the time during the installation, people used to pay less attention for this option. But what happen if you face a situation where you need to move the Active Directory database to a different location? For example, due to running out of a disk space in a drive, can we really do that? The answer is pretty simple. Yes, we can move it to a different location with the help of the NTDS util, that is NTDS utility. So let's see how we can do this in this video demonstration. So for my demonstration, I'm using a DC which hold is uh, Active Directory database file in a default location that is serial, windows and NTDS. And I need to move it to my new desk I added to the server. So let's check that disk mgmt.msc. Okay. It's okay. And now as you are seeing, we have a disk 0 and disk 1. And to create a new simple partition and select the entire. E, not going to give any name, open a quick format and finish. Okay, so I have a e drive, and inside the e drive, I'm going to create a new folder and give the name NTDS. Okay, so that's currently not as empty. See, one more thing which I want to share with you is that uh, you can simply uh, do that, just copy the all the files and move it to the new location but that won't happen that will not work of course one drag edit inside local machine sorry local machine expand system expand current control set expand services and expand NTDS expand parameters and here we go see this when computer start, it will look inside the registry. When Active Directory initiate, it will look inside the registry. What is my current path and where I store my database? And it's saying that is this. So one option is we have that we can use NTDS util, and second one, we can just copy and paste to a new location and then manually edit all these registries value. And that will be a little bit difficult. So it's more better we can use the NTDS options. So our currently new path is E and NTDS. Okay, so before we start the task, we need to stop the Active Directory domain service. So make sure uh, you are aware of this impact it will make on a network operations by stopping it. To do that, let's open services.msc and uh, stop the Active Directory domain service. Let's right click on it and click on stop it will ask you there will be additional service services that also stops click on yes to stop all these services and now start command prompt admin type ntds util and then type activate instance NTDS to activate the NTDS instance and then type files inside files maintenance type of help and then you can see the two are here move db and move logs let's run that command move db to e slash NTDS Okay, then so move database is successful and then on the same command move logs to e slash NTDS. Here we go, done. 
If you check on a E drive, now we have a logs and database. On if you check on a C drive, we do not have any files. And now click on quit, quit, and exit. Let's look at registry. Uh, sorry, it's a rack. Edit, and if you see, this will also update the all the parameters are here. Now, as you are seeing, database log file, this database file. And database working directory is this. And now it's time to start the active directory domain service again. And let's click on start. That's it. So this completes the process of moving uh, active directory database and it's locked to a new location. Thanks for watching this video.